Senator Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Administrator Regan, uh, good to see you again. <clears throat> Almost three years ago, uh, the EPA announced the creation of the Office of Mountains, Deserts, and Plains, which is a new regional office focused on effectively cleaning up abandoned mines and mine lands across the West and accelerating the cleanup of Superfund sites on Western lands. And the EPA um, needs to do more to clean up the hundreds of abandoned uranium mines on the Navajo Nation. There are more than 500 of them. And, you know, tribal leaders, you know, just like tribal leaders, I am concerned that these sites fail to compete well for annual Superfund appropriations funding. And I believe that a properly funded and authorized Office of Mountains, Deserts, and Plains can make meaningful progress on these projects. But Administrator Regan, you know, I, I noticed that the uh, fiscal year 24 EPA budget does not include funding for the Office of Mountains, Deserts, and Plains. Can you explain why that is? Uh, yes, um, and I will echo your sentiments. We absolutely understand the importance of, of this particular office. Um, you know, this particular office receives its funding through the Superfund Emergency Response and Removal and Superfund Remedial Program. Uh, which in the in this budget, this FY 2024 budget, um, is proposing the president's proposing to transition to Superfund tax receipts. Uh, so it is definitely built in. It's just built in under the Superfund program. So you say the EPA budget does include? My question was: My understanding is it doesn't include funding, but you say it does include funding, but it's coming from another source. Yes. It's coming from the, the Superfund program, primarily from the Superfund uh, tax receipts program. And do you have an amount of funding? So um, our chief, finan chief financial officer indicated that we are anticipating collecting over $2 billion this year uh, to be used for the, the subsequent year. So you say the Office of Mountains, Deserts, and Plains will be We'll funded a, at that level? We'll, we'll get a percentage of, we'll get some of those resources coming out of that $2 okay. billion. All right. Yes. Can you get back to me on what that number is? We can. Okay. I've introduced uh, legislation with Senator Lummis to authorize the Office of Mountains, Deserts, and Plains. So did you support this legislation? Uh, we have uh, absolutely provided technical assistance to previous legislation. Um, and so we weighed in there. Uh, any additional or new legislation, we would be happy to continue to provide that technical assistance to be sure that we're accomplishing the shared goal. And can you share with us any ways that you think that Congress, like what can we do to, to ensure that the office has the authorities it needs to support Superfund cleanups in the Western United States? We feel pretty confident right now that we have the authorities. Uh, would love to continue this conversation if there are some perceived um, you know, indications that we don't, but we believe right now we have those authorities. Okay. Great. In the remaining time here, I want to talk about PFAS for a second, so I'm going to shift gears here. It's important to Arizona, cleaning up PFAS. Uh, groundwater is our backup source of drinking water for both Phoenix and Tucson, um, and it is going to become more, more critical if this uh, extended drought gets worse here in Arizona. Um, but our groundwater aquifers in both Phoenix and Tucson, they have growing PFAS fl plumes. And I understand the EPA has just finalized a drinking water standard for PFAS just last week, and more regulations may be finalized soon. So taken in combination with funding from the infrastructure law, I'm hopeful that these actions can help make a difference for Arizona communities. So. Administrator, um, will the new proposed drinking water standards, will that speed up any of the EPA's timelines on releasing bipartisan infrastructure law funds for treating um, contaminants like PFAS? It absolutely will. We'll have them time to coincide with this regulation and the needs that these communities have. Over $10 billion in bill focused on PFAS and emerging contaminants. 
five billion of that specifically focused on PFAS. So yes, all of these things, our regulations and that law are working in concert. Well, thank you. Thank you.